Good morning! Oh, there is so much to talk about today and so many exciting things to learn about. Um, I'm going to start, um, even before I pray so I don't forget, by telling you that yesterday when I was outside working in my yard, Miss Pam called him. And I sat down at the table in my backyard and I picked up my phone and we talked 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 for two whole hours. I could not believe it when I got off the phone and it told me I'd been on the phone for two hours. So, um, first of all, most of all, I want to tell you that Miss Pam really, really misses you and really, really misses school and really, really wants to give you all a hug because she loves you all so much. She wanted me to tell all of you that. And um, also, she wanted me to tell you that she is still planning on sending a video reading so that she can be our library reader. Um, she has been having trouble with her phone when she tries to videotape. So um, she's going to have her son teach her how to use the computer to do it instead of using her phone to do it. And hopefully we will have a video from Miss Pam soon. She's picked out books she wants to read to us and everything. So um, hang in there. Think of Miss Pam and how much she loves you and keep waiting for that video from her. Um, what else should I tell you about that two hours? Goodness. She misses us and she misses school, but she's still pretty busy because she is helping her grandchildren with their schoolwork all day. Um, and she's reading good books and she's playing her piano and um, yeah, mostly she's just helping take care of her grandchildren. So um, we had a good long talk and it was really nice. And um, I hope you all get to see her soon. Okay, let's start with prayer. Hands folded, eyes closed, and heads bowed. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. Um, thank you for my phone call with Miss Pam yesterday. And thank you for how much she loves us and loves all the kids. And please bless her. And um, thank you for all the other things we're going to talk about today. We have lots of exciting things going on. And um, thank you for loving us. Thank you most of all for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created, God created the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Genesis 1, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. For a child will be born to us, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For a child will be born to us, Isaiah 9, verse 6. Who's a child? Jesus! Did he stay a child? No. Jesus grew, grew, grew. Jesus grew, grew, grew. In body and in wisdom. Jesus grew, grew, grew. Jesus grew, grew, grew. In body and in wisdom. Luke 2, 52. We love because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. We love. We love, we love, because he first loved us. First John 4, 19. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God 
God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3, 16. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Okay, those are all our verses. I think everybody knows the April verse by now. April's almost over. So I only sang it one time. I hope that's okay. It's hard for me to know how much you're learning things since I don't get to see you and don't get to hear who's singing along with me. So I hope you're all singing along with all the Bible verses and that you all have them stored up in your hearts. And we will learn a new Bible verse on Friday. So let's see. Next, let's look at our calendar. Here it is. Let me scooch it where you can see the whole thing. Okay, that was yesterday. What color do we need next? Hmm, pink, pink, green, green. Pink, pink, green, green. Pink, pink, green, green. Pink, pink, green. What is it? Hmm. Some of you are probably already yelling it. I hope so. Um, but let's see. We always have two pinks and then two greens and then two pinks and then two greens and then two pinks and then two greens and then two pinks. So we need two greens. So I'm going to make another green today. Here's my green paper. You can see where I've been cutting out the other pieces for our calendar. And, oh goodness, I just knocked over something rather important, which I will show you in a minute. Okay, here is my green. It's almost a square, but it's still a rectangle because a square has to be truly a square for it to count. So I write a two and a nine. Here it is, two, then nine. And I'll put a little glue on the back. Here it is, and it goes right next to yesterday, so we'll have two greens. Okay, now let's see. If this one means today, we look up, 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 up to see the day of the week, and it starts with W, wuh, wuh, wuh. <clears throat> okay, there are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Which one started with the wuh, 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 W sound? Wuh, wuh, hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Okay, and then we go to the big word at the top of the calendar and that's our month. It starts with A, A. January, February, March, and April, May. June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Okay, so here's today. Today is Wednesday, April, and then we count the numbers, right? Wednesday, April, here's the one. We always start with the one when we're counting, don't we? I wonder if it's tricky for me to hold the calendar exactly right so you can see the whole thing the whole time. If I lean it against my face, it works well. I look kind of silly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. You say it with me. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. And I'm so glad I do calendar with you because I have a couple of good friends who have today as their birthday. I will call or send them some kind of message to say 
happy birthday. <clears throat> Isn't it funny how sometimes more than one pe person has a birthday? I think so. Two of my very best friends have the same birthday. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> we did calendar. April's in what season? Summer? No. Fall? No. Winter? No. So what's left? Spring! April is in spring. And today it looks like we're going to have a nice spring day again. Yesterday was beautiful, wasn't it? I, I was outside for two hours talking to Miss Pam, but also a lot longer than that, doing yard work, as well as sitting outside and just talking to people. Because we have this nice thing that we do that even though we're not getting close to our friends right now, we're not going in each other's houses, we still sometimes sit on our front porch and friends come by and sit across the yard from us and we chat and it's so nice. So we saw a couple of friends that way yesterday too. Okay, so the weather yesterday was beautiful and I think it's going to be kind of the same today. That's not what they thought earlier in the week, but we'll see, right? Maybe not quite as much sunshine, but just as warm. And now let's get on with the rest of the day. We went through our circle board things. Um, I have a very, very exciting surprise for you. We get to do a science project. And our science project is having to do with living things. Science having to do with living things is called biology. So we're having a biology project. And I even um, am calling this an entomology project, which is a project, it's part of biology, but it's specifically not just any life, but it's about bugs. Bugs, I wonder what kind of bugs I have in here. Actually, I know, I wonder if you know. Oh good, that little guy's wiggling. I'm finding they don't wiggle as much in the morning as they do later in the day. So yesterday morning, Mr. Awad went outside on our front porch and found the box with this cup in it. And in this cup, you can see exactly what's there. There are five little black things and some brown stuff at the bottom. And if we were in school, I would let you sit during guided play and watch them as long as you want. And then you would get to draw a picture of what you see. Now, I hope that you can watch this video and draw a picture of what you see. And maybe even screenshot the, um, your computer or your phone or your iPad, whatever you're watching me on, you can screenshot it on this cup full of bugs and draw a picture. And I would love to hear what you think they are. I don't tell you for the first couple of days because people usually have different guesses. Some people will guess right away what they are. And some people have other guesses. Let's see what we can observe. Remember, observing is just going by what we can see or hear or smell. We're not going to taste them, of course. See, hear, smell, and we're not going to touch them either. I don't open the jar <clears throat> until later. I don't open the jar the first few weeks we have them because they have everything they need right there in this little jar or this little cup. <clears throat> so I, I can't smell anything. Um, hmm. Can't smell anything. I can't hear anything. So we'll just go by what we see. I see five little things. I'm calling them little. How big are they? I will tell you they are obviously bigger than yesterday when they arrived. I didn't show them to you yesterday. I was worried because they spent the night on my front porch and I thought maybe it had been too cold for them. I was very happy later when they started wiggling more. 
Um, so you can see this one is very active right now. The other four don't seem to be. And I hope I'll see them wiggle later today. But he is obviously bigger than he was yesterday. This one that's wiggling around. And I would say that he is black. He's about as long as my thumb is wide. Can you see that? So a grown-up would say he's about a half an inch long. And um, the others that are not wiggling so much right now are about the same size, maybe a teeny bit smaller. And uh, um, let's see, what color are they? Some of them look more black and some of them look more dark brown. And they have little tufty things all over them. Tufty things like, I don't know if they're lots of tiny legs or if it's fur or some other kind of fuzz. I can't touch them to feel if they're soft or maybe they're spikes. What do you see? Hmm, it's already 16 minutes into my video. I was going to draw a picture. I would still like to draw a picture as an example for you. But I might not draw as much detail as I would have otherwise. Now, grown-ups, I always draw an example for the kids, but I also always let them draw on their own. And what they do is not wrong because they're just drawing their own observations. Now, I encourage them to use black or dark brown or pencil. <clears throat> but right now, we have this cup. That's the top of the cup. And that's the bottom of the cup. And the truth is that there's this brown stuff at the bottom. That's another thing we often talk about that um, and try to see what the kids think the brown stuff is at the bottom. It's light brown, so I'm coloring it lightly with my pencil. And then in there I see about four of these little thingies look kind of like that and they're not moving around much I hope they will later today yesterday they weren't moving around at this time either and by the afternoon they moved a lot and then there's one guy who is wiggling around I might draw a slightly better picture of him I'm saying him I don't know if he's a boy or a girl or if his kind of animal even has boys and girls but let's see I'm gonna try to draw these little tufty things I would love to hear what you think we have, and I would love to see your drawings if you make drawings. And we'll be looking at these guys every day to see if they change and to see what they do, and we will be learning all about them. In a few days, I'll probably just tell you what they are because by then, hopefully, we've all figured it out. I don't know. If you let me know what you think, we'll keep having a discussion. Okay. So that is a very exciting project we have going on in entomology. Entomology is the science of bugs. It is part of the bigger science of biology, which is the science of living things. Okay. See you later, bugs. I'll put them down here. Okay, so the other thing we do every Wednesday is show and tell. And I got lots of good show and tell emails. Let me check. Lily <clears throat> sent me an email with two show-and-tell items. She showed a beautiful necklace that spells out the name Lily. What is a necklace that starts with J? J, J, J. It's jewelry, right? There are all kinds of jewelry. She had a necklace that spelled out Lily. I'm wearing jewelry right now, and I always wear some jewelry, right? Do you all recognize my rings? Rings are jewelry, and I wear the same rings every day. This is my college ring. This one is the one Mr. Awad gave me when he asked me to marry him, and this is the one he gave me during our wedding. 
And I always wear earrings, different ones every day, pretty much, although the little ones stay the same. I have lots of earrings. <laughs> <clears throat> and necklaces are jewelry. This is one Nadia gave me for Christmas. You can open it up and it says, you are my sunshine. And it's a sunflower. And I always wear this one. It's a medic alert bracelet. So if anything bad ever happens and I can't tell a doctor about me, the people in the ambulance can check my bracelet and know all about me. So that's jewelry. Let me get a jewelry. Let's see, not get a jewelry. I'm gonna get a page for writing down show and tells. I'll use this one. So, Here's a piece of paper, and I will write. Ooh, I think this is a very fancy art marker. Art 101 brush pen. It's a little bit hard to write with if you're not used to it. Jewelry. Okay. So Lily showed me her beautiful necklace that said Lily, and she also made a J out of jelly beans. Jelly beans is a good J show and tell. Jelly beans. Okay. And June, I'm just gonna write her name down because June starts with J, right? And June, her mom sent me a really sweet email about how much they enjoy the Bible verses and the videos and a couple of pictures of one doing, of June doing, I left the E off of June, silly me. There we go. Um, one of June doing the Wet Dry Try app and also one of June and her sister Ruby in their clubhouse in the backyard. Oh my goodness, they have a cool clubhouse. And they just told me some of the fun things they've been doing. You know, they have four kids, so they don't always do all the things that I'm telling you about on the videos, but they're doing some really cool things because they're doing them together as a family. And this time is a good chance for people to do fun family things, like go for family walks and play together as a family. So that was nice. Um, but the email also said that June misses her friends. Um, Dylan sent me some pictures, or one picture of a beautiful drawing he did. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it was such a nice drawing. So he wrote a big J, and a little J, an uppercase and a lowercase, and he drew pictures of lots of J things. I have this list, because there were so many. Um, he drew a picture of a jellyfish. He drew a picture of jeans. He drew a picture of someone in jail. He drew a picture of jelly beans. A jam jar. Jupiter, the planet. Um, a Japanese flag. A country Japan, he drew their flag. And he drew a jacket. I was so impressed. Um, so let's see, how many of those words should I write down? Um, I will write Japan, because he's the only person who had a Japan thing. Um, I won't write jellyfish, because we, can, we already have jelly from jelly beans. Um... But he had jelly beans and jellyfish on his picture. Um, I'll write jail. He's the only person who had jail or Jupiter. Jail and Jupiter. Okay, let's see. Henry sent a video um, where he was reading a book he has very simple book, but he was reading it. It was really cool. Um, and uh, a picture of someone jumping, and he wrote the word J over and over again. Good, good practice. So I'm going to write jump, which was on his picture. That says jump. I'll also tell you that I'm attaching a video today of my boy Jonathan. Jonathan starts with J. And he is jumping, Jonathan jumping on our trampoline. Um, and uh, 
Lorelai. I love Lorelai's show and tells. She's very excited in her show and tells. Lorelai showed me her Jessie doll from Toy Story. I don't have a Jessie. I can't show you Jessie. But I have seen the Toy Story movies and they're very fun. Jessie is the girl cowboy. So there's Woody the boy. And then I think in the second movie we meet Jessie, um, the girl cowboy. Or I guess she's a cowgirl, huh? Not a girl cowboy. That's silly. Um, she also showed me herself jumping on her little trampoline in her house. An indoor trampoline, which I think is such a great thing for a kid to have. Just like we have in the LMR. Um... And Joanna, she's also very, very excited in her videos. It's great. She sent me a video um, singing the J letter sound song. J says J. J says J. Every letter makes a sound. J says J. So she was singing that song in one video, and she also showed me her jean jacket. I'm wearing my jean jacket today. Let's see. I'm going to write jeans or just jean and jacket. She told me all about her jean jacket. It has buttons and it has button holes, like a little door that the button goes through. And it has pockets. It's almost exactly like my jean jacket and it's blue. Okay, I think those are all the emails I got. Let me see. I had a few more show and tells to show you. Of course, we have Jingles, because Miss J has a jingle jacket. So those are some jingles. I'll write that. And uh, I brought over some jelly. This is cherry jelly. It actually says cherry preserves on it, um, which means it's kind of chunky. It's got real whole cherries in there. Regular jelly doesn't have that. But I'm going to write jelly. And uh, I brought over some cards. I wonder if you play any card games with your family. Kids your age could probably play Crazy Eights or um, Go Fish. Or you can just use the cards to practice counting because you've already got cards that have numbers on them, don't you? Most of them have numbers, but I was going to show you the ones that have J on them. This one's called a Joker. And most card decks have two jokers. This one somehow ended up with three, so probably it borrowed one from another deck. <laughs> and they also have jacks. It should have four jacks in a deck of cards. So um, jack and joker are both J words. And that might be all of my J show and tells. Of course, here's Miss J. Oh, Nadia just got up. I was hoping she could juggle for me today. Maybe I'll send you a video later of Nadia juggling. And um, good morning, Nadia. Good morning. <laughs> and then the most important J word of all. I think I covered all these. The most important J word of all. Who do we learn about when we read the Bible? Jesus. We learn about Jesus. Here on the back, you see lots of pictures of Jesus. You can see him like he is now. He's the king in heaven. Jesus. We learn about Jesus from the Bible. Okay. My video got kind of long today, so I guess I should wrap it up. I love you all very much. Keep looking for J words. Keep practicing the letter J. And keep thinking about what little bugs we might have in that wonderful jar. Did I write jar? That'll be my last J word on here, and then I'll say goodbye. Jar. You could have a jelly jar, or you could have a jar with five little black bugs in it. Right? Okay. I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you, and I will look forward to whenever I get to see you next. Okay. Bye-bye.